Hey, how you doing? I'm here at the Metro Theatre in Sydney, and it's going to be my pleasure to interview a few of the guys from the US punk outfit Strung Out. How's it going? I'm good. This is Jake. Uh, they're currently out here in Australia touring off the back of their latest release from last year, which is called Transmission Alpha Delta. Yes. And it's a pretty big tour. It's going to be here for a month, and you guys started up in North Queensland. Is that correct? That's true. We started in Cairns and uh, worked our way down. And here we are in Sydney, and yeah, it's been great. Excellent. You've been doing a lot of more regional areas that probably wouldn't get bands like you coming to them, which is probably an awesome thing for them. Well, you know, it's great for us to get to see all these spots. You know, uh, back about 15 years ago, we did a really extensive tour of Australia. So, you know, I wasn't sure if we'd get back to some of these places like Cairns and Ruchador and Townsville. But this, the responses have been killer. It's been yep. awesome. And, uh, you know, thank you so much to everyone coming out and making these shows rule. Excellent, man. Well, you know, you guys haven't been around for 27 years for nothing to, you know. It's Australia's always had a, a big love affair with, with punk rock, you know. It's, it's sort of that east coast of Australia sort of got that, that California vibe that you guys have grown up it with just, as well. Yeah, man, it's so nice. It feels a lot like home, you know. It's very surfy and very beachy and skatey and, yeah. you know, yeah, people love the, the high energy music, so it's, it's killer. Yeah. Excellent. That's cool. All right, well, what we're here to do today is just talk over a bit of a, the rig rundown of what you guys use live. So seeing as they were standing in front of it, let's talk about amps absolutely yeah i mean here we have the evh 5153 this is the 100 watt model and uh, it's phenomenal i've never been happier with an amp that i've owned it's incredible it delivers everything you need between the three channels uh, i tend to like the red channel myself for my main rhythm tone you know it's got all the attack you need i only set the uh, gain to about three because it's so hot for what we do three is more than enough so yeah. i keep that three i keep my lows a little uh up, up above 50 percent you know because you know they're they're pretty big and woofy, you know, and I need to fill in a, f a certain frequency. So I, I keep the, the, the low a little tight, I scoop my mids a bit, and then I keep the uh, high about even with the, the, the low, you know, so it still has a nice, you know, clear attack to it, you know, and then, um, you know, I keep my presence is all at 50%. Yep. And then, you know, I'll use the blue channel for certain parts, a little bit of a, a cleaner part in the section, you know, right there, I'll uh, scoop it a little less, I'll keep my highs a little higher and my mids a little, you know, well actually, it's, yeah, scooped a little less basically. Yeah. And then my lows are just 50%, you know. And then I use the green channel just for uh, one part really, it's just kind of a clean, it's a gainy clean, I, I have my gain up to about five on there, but uh, you know, it's got some bite to it, so I need to have the gain in there, but still yep. cleans it up quite a bit. Excellent. It's really just for one little part of a song. Yeah, yeah for But between the three channels, it covers everything I would need. Fantastic, how long have you been using these amps for? Um, let's see, we got these heads about four years ago. And uh, actually, it's pretty in incredible that Eddie Van Halen personally gave us our two heads. I was going to ask that. I thought I heard a story about that. It's remarkable. We were playing at the NAMM show. We did a little demo for Fender. We just played like three songs, and Eddie, he saw a feed of it. So he checked it out. He was into what we were doing, and he comped us two heads. So it's incredible. And Eddie, freaking rule. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's, you know, a guy that you, got, you guys have probably looked up to, seeing you guys and thought, yeah. It's, it's beyond yeah. my comprehension that he yeah. even would hear my music. So well, it's so cool. Yeah, and Very for him cool. to, you know, make a point of, of giving you guys a couple, that's, a, that's an it's, awesome it's, thing. It's incredible, you know, to artists like us, it means so much to have someone help us out. And, you know, I mean, these things are cheap, so it's yeah. definitely uh, very amazing. And I, I swear by it. It's yeah. such a great amp. Excellent. And in, say, in the studio, do you use this type of rig as well? Yeah. For our last record, Transmission, we used the EVH for, I'd say, 80% of the album. And then, you know, a couple of little things here and there. But this was the meat and potatoes, yeah. 100%. Excellent. Beautiful. Well, let's head over to, uh, to Pedals, and we'll yes. see what's going on there. All right, so here's the pedal board. Do you want to uh, give us a quick run through here? Absolutely. You know, as you can see, I've got my EVH foot switch that controls the three channels. I also run an uh, ISP Decimator 2, which is an incredible piece of gear. This is the, one of the most valuable pieces you could have in your rig. It just cuts out all the noise, and it really tightens up all your playing as well. It cuts out, like, everything in between your picking. So it's a phenomenal noise gate. I'm just using a classic Boss TU2 tuner. It's just, you know, staple in my rig forever and a uh, very reliable tuner. I got a couple new Seymour Duncan pedals here, and I'd like to thank Derek Duncan for uh, hooking me up with these. They're phenomenal pedals. The vice grip is a compressor, so I just kind of keep that, you know, about the middle, but I, I dial these up a little bit just to kind of compress everything a little more, make everything a little more consistent and solid. And then the uh, Catalina chorus is really incredible as well. It's, it's, it's a subtle chorus with the way I have it set, because I'm not looking to do anything too wavy, but uh, it's nice for a couple little cleaner parts. It really, you know, fills up the sound and just gives it that nice 80s kind of chorus. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also using the Vapor Trail Delay, which is a phenomenal delay pedal. I kind of have it set like to like a U2 sort of setting, like something the Edge might use, to where it's, you know, it gives you a nice repeat, but uh, it's not too, too crazy, you know, because, uh, you know, and I don't have the drive up too much. I have the drive at about 30, 40 percent. And uh, that way it blends in with the signal, but it's yeah. not like overpowering everything. Yep. So it's just kind of in there. And it's nice. And all together, it can figure, you know, I figure it, it covers everything I would need and everything that I'm doing in the set. You know, I'd say 80% of my songs, I'm not even using these at all. 
it's just this, this, and the red. But uh, you know, on occasional parts, it's nice to kick those in, and uh, yeah, you know, it gives you a little color for the parts. Yeah, excellent. Did I see you on, uh, on Instagram that you made a sort of slightly condensed version for touring? I did, I did. I just well, it's the same pedal board. I built this pedal board at home. It's just a piece of lumber and some fancy handles and yeah. pretty uh, duct tape. But yeah, you know, depending on the the tour, you know, I can cut it down. I can just you know, I can do without this if I need. I can just have these, yeah. and uh, you know, it's it, it's temporary. I'm probably going to get a better pedal board here in the next couple months. Yeah. But for now, it certainly uh, does what it needs to do. And I suppose with the addition of the three. Absolutely, you know, delay and chorus is really all I need. I'm not using a whole lot of other effects. Yeah. You know, maybe down the line I'll get something. A harmonizer would be kind of cool, like an Eventide or something. Yeah. But as of now, this is more than I need, honestly. You just got to find a bigger piece of lumber. And exactly, some, uh, exactly. Cool lady zebra. I saw a guy do a skate deck uh, yeah. pedal board, so that was really cool. I might, I might copy that and put a skate deck with some, some, some pedals on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, this covers everything I would need. Excellent. All right, we'll move over to guitars now. Yes, let's do it. So this is my new number one. It's a custom uh, custom shop soloist I had made a few months back, and it just turned out phenomenal. It's all mahogany, mahogany neck, mahogany body. Um, I've got a Seymour, what's his name, Sinister Gates. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sinister Gates Invader in there, and it's, it's a phenomenal pickup. It sounds great, and it's it's cool. It actually comes with a jar of eyeliner, so that's like <laughs> it's, it's a little known uh, thing about these pickups. So yeah. check them out. It's really good. I'm back in love with the Floyd Rose. It's incredible. I'm, I'm back in whammy bar nerd heaven with this thing. And it's awesome, you know, it's, this thing stays in tune so well. It's a, I can seriously throw it into a fucking wall and it will be in tune. So, yeah. it's, you know, as, uh, as you can see, I'm not afraid to put some chips on it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's wonderful, you know, and it's, it's, I've got the kill switch on it for just a couple little parts where I can use some tappy things. Yep. Brass knob, old school, uh, you know, it's kind of spec to like an early 80s style custom. Yeah. Reverse headstock. Yeah, exactly. That's my thing. Reverse headstock, one knob, one humbucker. Yeah. It's all I need. It's, it's honestly most... For, it's the most effective guitar I've ever had. You know, Excellent. it's incredible, and it's just you know stays in tune great. And that's at the end of the day, that's that's the most important thing. That's you know, you can kind of color most of the other stuff through an amp. Exactly, but, that's uh, exactly right. And what's the uh, what's the other one you bought? This is my number two, which I've had this for a few years. This is my other custom that I had to make me, and this is a phenomenal guitar right here. This is a Pablo uh, Pablo Santana designed this, or it's his Pablo arch top they call it, yep. where it's a slight arch through here, and then it's a also it also has a deeper cutaway in the back. So it's, it's a lot like your standard soloist, but it's a little bit more of an arch to it. And yeah. I have an EMG X in that, which um, I only have EMGs in this guitar. And just kind of at the time, I was just like, like, give me a fucking EMG. I want this yeah. thing to be like a metal machine. But uh, I'm, I'm actually more into the Seymour pickups these days, so I yeah. might swap it back out. But once again, I have a kill switch. Uh, it's just string through. And uh, you know, it's a phenomenal guitar as well. It glows in the dark. Dan Lawrence did an incredible paint job on this. He did our yeah. album, the Live and the Dive album graphics, and it's all hand painted. So do you, before you go on stage, do you charge it under some fluoro lights? I do, I do. Yep. The logo glows, all the phosphorus paint glows, and uh, you know, once again, it's neck through. However, yep. this has a three-piece uh, maple neck running through it, and it's mahogany wings. Yeah. So it's nice. It sounds different. It's a little more scoop sounding than old blue hair. It's yeah. it's, it's uh, you know a little more of a metal machine. But for certain songs, it's nice to have that attack. And the AMG is that active or passive? It's active. active yeah. So it takes yeah. the nine volt. And uh, you know, it's great, but like I said, it, it's a little more scoop sounding, so I don't quite, I kind of like the other one a little better right now, so I might throw an, uh, an EMG or a uh, Seymour Duncan Invader in this as well. And uh, all in all, it's great. I've got uh, Spurzel tuning keys on all of these, and um, you know, Jackson makes an incredible guitar, and I love the fact that not a lot of guys play these in my yeah. scene, so I, I'm carrying the flag. You have been playing Jackson for probably the I've been with him for about a career. No, no, I was with uh, I had a Les Paul for like the first five years I was in the band. Oh, right. I could never really bond with the thing. It was just awkward to me. Yeah. And then uh, I got into ESP guitars. I had a few ESPs that were really nice. And then I switched over to Jackson around 2007 or eight. And they're, they 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 treat me so good. They give me these fucking things there. I just can't believe it. I can't yeah. believe it. You know, they they built the inlay in there. Yeah. The Astro Lux inlay. Yeah. So uh, you know, they're they're second to none. And I'm just trying to show people that these guitars are out there. And you know, you're not limited to SGs and Fenders. And you know, I mean, Fenders are Incredible strats are great, but for what we do, this is the machine. Yeah, phenomenal. Now, if you were back in the, the States, obviously flying out here, did you only take two guitars with you on the road for a US tour, or would you have the luxury of three or four? You know, three is what we generally bring back home, you know, because it's nice to swap out throughout the set, and then if you need another backup, you know, it's always great to have an extra. We have a couple of nice vaults that GOMC cases built us, so the three guitar vaults, yep. but unfortunately they weigh a, too, a little too much fully loaded to, to bring over. Yeah, you know, the, 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 all the like show to show flights out here, they have a Thank you. pretty gnarly weight yeah. limit. So exactly. unfortunately, yeah. we're, we're back to old school cases. So it's two each on this. Yeah. But uh, you know, most of the time, the blue gets me through the whole show. Excellent. And if I need a switch, I've got this. Beautiful. All right. Thank you very much, Jake. Thank it's you. Pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you, guys.
All right, here I have with me is uh, Chris, who holds the low end down on the on the, uh, the band side of things, playing bass. I try to. How are you going, Chris? I'm doing excellent. How are you, Heath? Man, I'm going fantastic. Thank you for giving me your time today. Oh, thank you. Let's, uh, let's run through what you're, uh, you're running bass-wise. you got the Super Basement rig here. Well, what I got is, uh, is the amp of all amps. I got Godzilla here. I got this Fender Super Basement. This is 300 watts of just pure excellence. <laughs> I mean, it, it is. It's the best bass amp I've ever played, and uh, I love it. Um, and I'm running uh, the, eight, the eight tens of this, too. These are the... The eight uh, ten-inch uh, eminence speakers. So the you know, Dimium magnets, I think. Is yeah, exactly. Yep. They're very good. Yeah, we, we know our lingo, and uh, we have a uh, yeah. I've just been running this for the last uh, last two years. I use this on our new record. This this head with the tone hammer, the Aguilar tone hammer, and uh, I love it. Yeah, and um, and this, I'm using it live and at home. I've been playing actually playing uh, the six ten. The Neo 610 with it too. I was gonna say, yeah, I thought yeah, so more of a 610. I just guy. got that the last year, and I started running that. I really love it. Yeah. And uh, but out here, I'm like, yeah, let's go big, go big or go home. So. Well, that's know. exactly right. You know, you want to be able to make sure the people at the back can really feel. Yeah. Feel those bass You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it. You know. Exactly. If the people can't feel it, then what's the point of doing? Yeah. Well, why is it called bass? Yeah. Know? Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. Now you're running the uh, the Aguilar tone hammer with it. Yeah, I'm running the Aguilar tone hammer again. Another uh, just excellent um, DI pedal extravaganza. Um, yeah, my good friend Dave Avenius and Justin Huth over at uh, Aguilar, I've known them for years, and um, I've had other Aguilar stuff, and um, I love it. I love all Aguilar stuff, and I just needed, like, a really good DI mm. to run with, and, um, yeah, the Tone Hammer is just, it's its exactly what it says. It's yeah. the Tone Hammer. The thing is so badass, and uh, that's pretty much what I'm using. I use that on our new record, too, Transmission Alpha Delta. I use this exact same rig, and um, its it sounds killer, and I use this with my with my signature uh, uh, Squire model I have. And um, yeah, this is like pretty much what is on the new record. Yeah. And I'm using that. And uh, I mean, right now I'm playing, uh, on this tour I brought my, I got one of those 50s uh, road-worn precision basses. And uh, I just, pretty much what I do with all my gear, like with my basses and guitars, I, I gut them out and I, you know, trick them out and do stuff. And mm. uh, again, this one, it's like, um, or I can actually grab it. Yeah, so you grab, yeah, grab, grab it. Grab, yeah, go okay. grab it, yeah. Oh. The 50s road worn. Um, again, my thing is I'm all about no no tone knobs, just the volume. I switch the, the volume back to here. 500k volume pot. Uh, the Leo Kwan badass bridge too. Uh, Derek Duncan over at Seymour Duncan uh, hooks me up these um, quarter pounders, and that's why I put put in all my bases. The quarter pounders are just that's why I keep everything just even. And um, yeah, I had my my good friend. Uh, Vince, uh, Vince St. Dennis of, uh, or Vince and Dennis of, uh, Vince from Body Count. He's a, uh, ba plays bass in Body Count. He's also yeah. a guitar tech extraordinaire, and, uh, he, he always sets up all my stuff and does all my mods for me. So, yeah, I got this actually like, like two and a half weeks ago. I got this bass. <laughs> like, Straight I to him. Like, I gave it to him like two, to, like the night before we left. I gave it, it to him. I need this well, done. I need this all, like, do all this. So yeah. Brought him all the stuff. He's like, yeah, no problem. Had it Excellent. ready, but, uh, I love it. Yeah. So I've been playing this. Um, I only brought one bass with me on tour, which is is a no-no. <laughs> you should bring always have a backup, but um. But with your signature model, it's a, it's the bass where you can just walk in, grab it off the, the wall, and yeah. it'll be playing yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah, I love that. I, I've been really, you know, uh, Fender's been really, really amazing to me, and and the whole band. They've been, you know, they really treat us like a family. And uh, you know, Michael Schultz has uh, been an incredible uh, friend to me, and he's helped me out so much with the signature model, getting that going with Squire and Chris Gill, and um. Nate White, I mean, uh, all the guys at Fender, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> was that out, actually was that? Watch out for that bear! Watch out for right. that. <laughs> was that uh, was that based off a, a, a an instrument you had at home, or did you just say this is what I want in a bass? Yeah, well, it, it's funny. Um, I my Sig model was actually based off a, a, a '50s uh, one of the '57 the reissue they had that white one, the Olympic white. Yep. And uh, I again, I put a badass on it, and. Um, uh, the quarter pounders, and I put, I bought the Steve Harris pick card. I hadn't put that in it. Yeah. So it had that look, and then uh, we were playing in Arizona on one New Year's Eve, and Michael Schultz was at the show, and he was like, "That looks cool, man." Like he, so we we should do a sig a sig bass for you, and I was like, "Really?" Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. It was just kind of like, it sounded like just you know nice talk, but it, it actually came to fruition yeah. like within the next year, and it really happened. And then uh, you know we met with Chris Gill, who's with Squire at the time, and we worked it out. And um, yeah, it's been incredible. I mean, mm. my main thing was just. 
Um, I'm, I pretty much modeled after that, but I, I loved like the 70s big block inlays. So I yes. have like a few, I have like a 72 and I have like a 75, a 77. And the 75 is, I love that, like, it looks like Getty Lee's, you know, mm. like the big block inlays yeah. with binding. And I pretty much took a run with that. And uh, the Steve Harris, you know, or, or I'd say Phil Mi- Lineout, you know, God. Thin Lizzy. I love yeah. Thin Lizzy too. So, like, run that pick guard. And I'm like, you know what? I never use the tone knob. So let's just get rid of make it. it simple. You know, yeah. I like it simple. Again, like just simplicity is best, you know. Mm. And, and I do love, you know, an array of pedals and having a lot of effects. Don't be wrong, but uh, when I play guitar and stuff too. But uh, you know, just the the less things that go wrong, the better. Exactly, you gotta keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm using this Sure wireless setup. I I that. Vince Vince gave me this wireless a few yeah. years ago, and uh, dude, it's been like the best wireless I've ever had. I've never had a fucking problem with it yeah. ever. <laughs> so it yeah, it runs. Stick with it. You know, yeah. the only guy in the band that uses wireless, are you? I I am the only yeah. one. Yes, and I will. I uh, I uh, love it. <laughs> they give you a bit of grief about that, do they? Oh uh, no, I no. mean they're they're all see you later. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> go over there, come back over here, go over there, like uh, yeah. And I definitely take advantage of it. So. Yeah. Well, you got it. You know, it's high yeah. energy music that you're doing. You want to get up in the crowd. Yeah, I, li- I like to do laps. Yes. You know, I like to get yeah. a good workout in. Well, so. that's it. Yeah. There you go. You, you shouldn't have gone for that run this morning. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I wasted my wasted my show. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. All right. Well, thank you very much for that. that really uh, appreciate you. your time. Uh, don't forget, Strung Out Touring at the moment. Jump on their website, strungout.com. And if you haven't picked up their new album, Transmission Alpha Delta, do it. You won't be disappointed. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.